Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode three, and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. And we've been we did an episode just kind of going over the game and the start of things and getting a feel for how things work. And we spent the last episode running through your hometown, getting kind of used to the movement mechanics, talking to people, that kind of thing. And the princess was just dragged out of her house back to Edward's castle, and it looks like we're uh, we might be headed there next. I had more snail pie for breakfast. I left you a slice. Okay, if I had a slice, and he had half the pie, I'm pretty sure Gran over there either made more than one pie, or a bigger pie than I care to think about, because that's a lot of snail. Um, <coughs> okay. Good morning, Will. A letter has come for you from King Edward. This is what was written in the letter. <coughs> Bring the crystal ring from Ullman's things to Edward Castle. Signed, King Edward. I've been in a bad mood ever since I saw this letter. Is that why you made snail pie? Oh, Will, I'll teach you a spell. When I'm upset, humming this tune makes me feel better. Oh, get ready for that crazy jazz flute. Lola hummed a strange melody. That's pretty. Even though Will had never heard it before, it seemed oddly familiar. You've learned Lola's Melody. That can conveniently be played on a flute that is strapped to your back. Almost like that'll be important later. Be careful. A crystal ring? Never heard of it. There was nothing like that on the luggage your father. Ullman, thank you for reminding me who dad is. Maybe we could go to Edward Castle. We could see the princess. Uh, why are you laughing like that about seeing the princess? Never mind. I, I do more speculation, but I'm trying to keep it family friendly. So we'll just leave it at that and move right along. And see if we can head on over to... You, you know, let me through. King Edward has summoned you to the castle? Well, just be careful. Wait, one minute it's like, don't go out there. There are, there be demons out there. And then the next it's like, uh, oh, the king summoned you? Ah, just be careful. <laughs> be careful. Thanks. All right, where do you go? Quit or Edward's castle? Let's go to Edward's castle. It's too early to quit. <laughs> hey, it's an Indiana Jones Lake run across the map. <laughs> I, I do like that. It's part of why... Um, it's part of why games like Fallout 4 and Skyrim take me so long to play. I never actually follow the road... I just try to take the most direct path from where I am to where I'm going, and it leads to some really strange and interesting places. But um, after watching some other people play, I've also come to the conclusion that I'm missing out on a lot of stuff that way too. But that's another another talk for another day. Here we are at Edward's Castle. This is King Edward's Castle. I must report this intrusion. Intrusion? I got a summons, man. Will shows the letter to the guard. A guest of the king? I'm sorry. You may pass. Like, who just busts up on the king's castle on a good day anyway? All right. Uh, somewhere. Was it here? The, uh, oh, head to the right. At the end of the hall on the right, there'll be somebody hiding. Don't raise your voice. And mind your manners. In exchange, I will give you one red jewel. Yes, please. Yep. 
I don't want to use that. Alright, so I've got Lola's Melody equipped. And we've also got the Red Jewel. Erase the Red Jewel! Red Jewels fly to Jeweler Gems in a single ray of light. There we go. I knew there was a way to clear them out of your inventory without it uh, not counting for you. Okay. Now let's equip that. He softly played the melody he had learned from Lola, but nothing happened. Don't worry, that'll change. Alright, uh... Da -da 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 -da. From here, run across the bridge and... Oh. Head up the stairs to the third floor. And then to Kara's room. This is the underground prison. Innocent people can't enter. I'm... What if there are innocent people already over there? Like I might be. In the future. I mean, look. There, there's a reason why those tropes are there. So you're Will. You were summoned by King Edward? Be careful when you meet with him. Hmm. Well, he's shy. I'm glad that somewhere in the world there's someone who is thinking of me. I... I love... you. Aww. Alright. Oh yeah, look at that 8-bit view. I remember that. That was majestic. And high res. This is the princess's room. Strangers can't enter. Who is it? No strangers here. Just friends she hasn't met. Or has in this case. A guest? This is just a shabby boy. Who are you calling shabby? I'll knock you senseless with my flute. It's me, Kara. Oh, that voice. Let him in or I'll tell everyone your, your old nickname. Oh. Oh, pardon me. Please enter. Ah, that's right, soldier boy. You, yesterday. I was told to bring the crystal ring to King Edward. Terrible. It's terrible. Again, my father is trying to take something important from someone. I have escaped from the castle before, and now they won't let me go out. Recently, something very strange has happened in the castle. My mother has hired a famous hunter. It's ominous. Princess, let's go. I feel scared. My father and mother seem to have changed. Please save me. Take me out of here. Please. Princess, please come back, Will. Is there anything in here to loot? I mean, to help in case... Help you pack. Help you pack. Your business is finished. Get out. Oh. Okay, then. And downstairs we go. Anybody hiding behind this pillar? Nope. Okay. Nothing here. The interview room is before you. Climb the stairs to meet the king. First, I want to see what's through the other door. Recently, a hunter was hired. I wonder what the king is thinking. Okay. Nothing special there. So you are Will. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Let's go see King Edward. If you want to see the king, keep your wits about you. If you want to see the king, keep your wits about you. You know, I am kind of concerned that you guys keep reminding me of that. The king sent you the letter. Talk to him. Is this code for the writers didn't want to put dialogue in? So he sent you the letter. Go talk to him. Oh, Edward. Your will? 
you look so shabby. Seriously, with the shabby. Come on, people. I am not shabby. I am authentically rustic. Well, did you bring the crystal ring? No. How dare you say such a thing to me? Well, it's true. Guards, throw this impudent weasel in prison. Then go to Will's house and find the ring. Hmm. Ma'am, save me. Did you say ma'am? Mum, would you prefer that? Or is that a different queen? Edward's prison. I wonder why I have to suffer so. I wonder what will become of me now that the raiders have put me in prison. Anyway, I have to think of a way to get out of here. Nope, those don't move. Nope, those don't move. Wait, what? Ah, I missed that dialogue. I hit the button too fast. <clears throat> that is one of the things I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful of. It's locked. Can I telekinesis the door off its hinge? No. He softly played the melody he had learned from Lolo, but nothing happened. This mouse has seen thousands of prisoners come and go. Those prisoners must have been encouraged by any sign of life. That's one way to look at it. Okay. Uh, let's see. You must examine three things in the prison cell. The ball and chain, the moss in the north, east, and southwest corner, and the cell door. Now wait for about half a minute. And a loaf of... Oh, there it is. You, um... Okay. A soldier's whisper comes through a hole in the ceiling. It's today's ration of bread. Even moss drinks water. Seriously? We'll taste some of the bread. The bread is hard. It's the worst thing he ever he's ever tasted. And ladies and gentlemen, he's eaten snail pie. For some reason, he really misses Grandma Lola's creative cuisine. There ain't no licorice and rice, that's for sure. Hey. How do I rattle this thing like Time passes slowly. But the long day is ending. It pains me to think of the prisoners' feelings, not knowing what they should do. How do you do the prison workout so people stop calling you shabby? While I was trying to think of a way out, I drifted off to sleep. A familiar voice speaks from the flute. My flute is talking to me. I haven't even been in prison an entire day and my flute is already talking to me. Yikes. Will. This is your father. <laughs> uh, father? You were a cute child, but now you've grown up. And to a shabby boy, apparently. Isn't Grandmother Lola's pie delicious? No. Um, sure, Dad. Where are you? I can't tell you now. I have something to ask of you. Listen. Yes, it's of your wish. No, you deserted me. Um, hmm. Uh-oh. Well, uh... Looks like we lost power. So the local recording is going to pick this up and it'll end up in the episode. And uh, I'm getting a report that the stream is live.
right, sorry about the uh, sudden and abrupt end there. As you can tell by the video, we lost power Thursday. And <laughs> took me a couple days to remember to get back and finish recording a closeout so I could post up the first couple of episodes. And I'm probably going to go live here shortly, at, well, shortly as of the time of recording, to uh, knock out the, the last three episodes to round out my normal six-day week. Uh, or six day, six episodes for a week. So uh, thank you if you watched last Thursday, and hopefully you'll you'll uh, you'll have followed along on Twitch, and uh, you'll get notified when I get ready to go live to do the last couple of episodes. And uh, just a reminder: there's a couple of different ways you can help the channel out. Follow on Twitch if you haven't already. That way you'll get notified when I go live. I stream almost every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And I may do the odd extra stream on the weekend. So follow along and you'll always know. Subscribe to YouTube or subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already. And that way you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives and various other bits get posted. You, and you, you've heard all this stuff before. So I won't belabor points about likes and bells and all that good fun stuff. Because you know how, you know how all that works. And if you... If you get some value out of the show, please uh, throw a little support this way. Live.anonjunior.com. This is a value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the content, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, then consider giving a little bit of value back. Live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip, donate, whichever whichever way you want to think about it. You know, even if it's just enough for a fresh cup of coffee. Uh, you know, like maybe a cup of Starbucks. Or Duncan, if you, you'd like to give some good coffee. <laughs> okay, so um, that's it for this episode. And normally I'd be telling the live folks to give me a chance to uh, get ready for the next episode. But uh, th this is being recorded a little ways afterwards so I can round out the episodes. So uh, as far as you guys following on YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>